10 Tasks Cruise Pros Do on the Last Cruise Day, brought to you by Connie George Travel Associates. Sadly, all good things come to an end, and that's especially true when you know your cruise will soon be over. Knowing what you must do before disembarkation day will reduce your stress and enable you to get the most out of your last 24 hours. That is cruising like a pro. 10 chores may sound like a lot, but some may not apply to you. Knowing these cruise hacks, you can be organized to complete them quickly. My goal with this post is to prepare you so you can squeeze every last bit of fun out of that last day and night, enabling you to get the most of what you want out of your vacation. That also is cruising like a pro. Here are the 10 tasks for your last day. First is to read the important materials put in your cabin during the week. Be better prepared for your disembarkation, luggage service, and other details and opportunities by reviewing the materials that your cabin steward or butler previously put into your cabin or suite. Look this morning to see if there are any papers that you may have missed. You may find helpful tips or possibly have overlooked something that you will now have to have corrected. The information available in advance includes where and when you may need to meet to exit the ship the next day. You want to be sure the time fits your needs and that you have the correctly color-coded baggage tags to match your next day's travel plans. If this needs to be fixed, your chances are better if addressed with guest services as early as possible. Secondly, complete your airline check-in. If you will be flying home the next day, use your phone or tablet to check in and get your mobile boarding pass. Or use the ship's internet cafe to check in and print your boarding pass. Not checking in could result in you losing your seat assignments or even the cancellation of your flight reservation. Third, follow the cruise line's rules on bags out. Unless you are going to walk off the ship with all of your luggage, you will have a deadline by which you must have your luggage outside the door of your cabin. Before placing your luggage outside your door, be sure to attach the color-coded baggage tags that the cruise line gave to you. That's vital to your being able to find your luggage after disembarkation. The deadline for putting your bags out is typically 10 p.m. or 11 p.m., though I have had it as late as midnight. Your luggage will be collected and you'll catch up with it the next day in the port terminal. This also means if you do not keep out an outfit for the morning, you'll be walking off the ship and into the terminal in your PJs. Keep a carry-on bag with you in the cabin with any toiletries, clothing, and other items you'll need through the night and in the morning. The fourth task is to cash in your casino chips by your last night. If you've been enjoying the casino, be sure to cash in any chips or tickets before they close on your last night. The casino will not be open before disembarkation on the following day. The fifth and very important chore is to check your account. It's much easier to resolve account issues on the ship before your credit card is charged than it is to address them after you are home and your bank card has been charged. Cruise lines have various ways in which you can check your account. They may include checking your account on your cabin TV, on the cruise line's cell phone app, with the guest services desk, or at a kiosk near the desk. If you see any discrepancy, work with guest services today or tonight. The line can be long on the morning of disembarkation. Cruise pros check their ship account multiple times during their cruise so they can catch any potential errors more timely. They know that errors don't happen often, but they can happen. The sixth task is to use up your onboard credits. Do you have onboard credits, also known as shipboard credits? Some types of credits can be refunded after a cruise, but most of them tie in with promotional prices and do not carry over. If you have use it or lose it credits, be sure to go buy something fun. My cautionary tale is that I realized about 10.30 p.m. on the last night of a cruise that I had about $100 in credits that had not been used. I quickly dressed, ran down to the shops, only to find that they had already closed. I lost out on a quick $100 shopping spree. <sighs> the seventh item on the list is to expect to receive any alcohol that you may have purchased on board or brought on in a port that the ship had stored for safekeeping. If you purchased alcohol on board or in a port, it was stored for you during your cruise. Staff will deliver it to your cabin, often before 9 p.m. In the unlikely event it doesn't show up, contact guest services. Eight is to give back what you borrowed. If you enjoyed any of the books or games from the library, please return them by your last evening. Likewise, if you still have one of the ship's beach towels that were supposed to be returned to the pool area, return it by the afternoon. I've seen lines list a $20 to $40 fee for their beach towels for unreturned towels. Number nine is very important and sometimes overlooked. Empty your safe deposit box. You'd be surprised at the credit cards, cash, and jewelry that can get left behind 
adding worry and more chores for you after you get home. Be sure nothing is left in there. It's too easy when scooping up items to miss a ring or a credit card. The 10th tip is another important one. Be sure to recognize your favorite hardworking crew members on the last day. Even if you prepaid your gratuities or have them charged to your cabin, you may wish to show appreciation to your favorite crew members. There are three ways to share the love with exceptional ship staff on your last day. First, extend an extra tip individually and deliver it in person. With very few exceptions in the industry, crew members are permitted to accept additional gratuities and are always appreciated. Second, write a note to them. I like to pack a few small note cards with envelopes. I'll use the card to deliver an additional tip and may include a more personal message I'd like to write to the person, i.e., I appreciate all you did for me this week, particularly keeping my ice bucket full. I'm glad your contract ends early enough for you to enjoy your son's graduation while you are on break. I hope to see you again on future cruises. Third, if the guest services desk has crew comment cards, complete them for outstanding crew members' name and why they were exceptional. By knowing what you need to do on the last day of your cruise, you'll be able to take care of these responsibilities so you can get back to your vacation like a cruise pro. You can scan the QR code on this video to access the full article, 10 Tasks Cruise Pros Do on the Last Cruise Day, along with the rest of our library of articles. Would you like more tips? One of the many advantages of booking through Connie George Travel Associates instead of online is having our expertise work for you. Be sure to contact us for your next personal or group cruise or motor coach tour. Let us be experts in creating great vacation adventures and future travel memories. Visit www.cgta.com. That's www.c as in cat, g as in George, t as in Thomas, a as in apple.com. Happy traveling!